Thank you for joining me in my garden today. Uh, today I'm just planting a few things and doing some chores and I thought I can film that for you. Thank you so much for all the uh, um, uh, all the messages uh, regarding to the clematis that we planted last uh, in my last video. It was really nice to hear from everyone. I, I really do enjoy that very much. So anyway, um, today what I'm going to do is uh, plant this container because I had um, I, I had planted, sorry, it's sun in my eyes, but I, I'm okay. Um, uh, so uh, I planted uh, gardenia here about two years ago, and it was doing really good until it didn't. Um, and I, you know, last year when we weren't here, it started declining. So I'm thinking either it kind of got dry a little bit, but also it got really yellow. Um, I think it maybe was suffering from iron. Um, I did try to give it iron and try to um, give it the remedies and you know, hope, hope, you know, bring it to life, but it really just. It, it just didn't do well and, and eventually it just really declined so I decided to just remove it but you know the, I have the other ones they're doing pretty good and I keep adding acidic properties to it some ashes and some coffee grinds and stuff because they do need to have some acidity in order to do well and so these two are still kind of still doing okay but this one just didn't survive so I'm going to replant this plant this planter uh, this pot right here um, and uh, I am also going to freshen up my other pots because I planted um, if, uh, I planted uh, those pots up last fall, and because of the freeze in the winter and stuff, some things just suffered. I want to remove all the you know all the ones that are just not doing good and uh, replace them with some pretty flowers because I think we are over the freeze. I don't think there is a threat of any more um, cold weather here really. I think it's going to, you know, I just want the pots to look nice until, you know, maybe mid, you know, June or mid June. I'll probably um, will replace some things again. And so, and I have another project that I want to get done today. Um, we bought more um, stepping stones, which I which I will show you when we get there. Um, I I need to go ahead and place them in the ground, and I'll show you what I'm doing there. But let's go back to this pot right here. So, this one I want to plant uh, up with boxwood. So I have a really nice decorative boxwood here which I bought pretty inexpensively here in our grocery store. They brought just really nice plants for not very expensive. I really wanted, I love taking advantage of buying as much as possible, um, you know, the good deals this spring. So I'm really excited to replace this, this pot um, uh, the gardenia with this box food and then what I'm going to do just plant around some color maybe some manuals um, I got beautiful geraniums already from the garden center um, and I thought this would be really nice because I when I plant them uh, here they will actually continue going through the entire summer season so I don't have to replace them anymore so th that's why I decided to go with this um, three geraniums and then I'll just um, maybe fill, fill the, around them with uh, uh, pansies and also maybe some primro primroses so the pansies I decided to go with this color because I thought it would just be really pretty picking up the beautiful coral from the geraniums and white. I think this will complement that a little bit and then maybe go with the um uh, some of those white and yellow geranium uh, prim primroses excuse me so uh, rather primroses um, I think this will be kind of a nice uh, combination so uh, anyway I'm mindful that uh, eventually I will probably replace these pencils in the summer anyways and bring uh, and uh, replace them with some other ones other annuals anyway we'll just go ahead and get this done here and I just wanted to add really quick, I already add um, to my soil uh, my homemade compost, which will bring good nutrients in this pot. I didn't replace the soil or anything. Usually I don't, I just add more compost because I have them in hand. That's, this is why I make my own compost because I can keep adding into my containers to bring really good nutrients for the plants. Okay. 
Okay, guys, so as for this container, this is all set. I think I really like it. It looks really nice. I love the colors, the way it all came out with the evergreen element in, in the center. I actually went ahead and planted the box with a little bit farther towards the wall just because there's a wall behind it and there's no need really for me to feel on the back side of the container. They, they're not going to get much light anyways. So I went ahead and uh, just basically planted all around the container container like that and the and I love the box within the center because in the winter time hopefully if I can take care of it here hopefully in the winter time it will stay really nice and green and I can still feel color fill up the colors around it so it will look really really nice all year round so this is one container now we'll clean up my mess after I'm finished so we'll just go ahead to the next uh, containers that I need to ref uh, freshen up a little bit we'll go get that done and then we'll okay guys so this is what we are going to work with at the moment and it's nice to have a break from the sun because I was baking in the sun to get that other container done so um, these containers are pretty you know the soil is pretty good because I um, mixed in lots of compost and good um, uh, material in this soil uh, and good new soil into these containers uh, last fall so that it's you know it's a really in great shape I don't need to do a lot here but what I want to do is leave this spindle which is really beautiful this variegated sp spindle has a beautiful dark green with the beautiful um, white edges looks really nice I'd like to keep that but ornamental cabbage here it's pretty much finished you can see it actually was too much rain uh, probably in a winter with freezing so some of the uh, cyclamens, uh, cyclamens didn't uh, last very well in this container because of too much water I believe um, this one didn't do well either so I'm going to remove this one is finished it didn't last long I have another ornamental cabbage here that I'm going to remove Oh, I forgot to bring my container. Hang on. Okay. Um, so these are just the daffodils that I popped in here. And I think I'm going to leave them just because they look really nice. I love the foliage. Um, and, you know, I will let the foliage die out. Then I will just plant them in my landscape somewhere. I have lots of spaces now, so I'll just leave that alone. But anything that is finished, pretty much, I'm going to remove. Okay. So for this container, I got a few plants, and I'm, I forgot to bring my glasses. I'm so sorry to read the name of this plant, but I will bring it closer, close up to the camera so you can see the name. And uh, so these are really beautiful. They, they are short-lived, though. They are annuals in my area. I worked with them last uh, last couple of seasons as well. They, I mean, um, they, they look really nice until about when it starts getting hot. So then they just really finish. Um, I am going to at least plant them here to bring up really nice pop of color for about two months. And then we'll just remove at the end of the May, I think, and replace them with some summer annuals because they just will not look very good. But they were pretty inexpensive. I think I spent about euro and, and 50 uh, cents on it so it's worth it for me for a couple of months to enjoy anyway I'm using these guys and then I also purchased uh, really beautiful yellow um, astrospermums I think I'm going to plant them one in each container to bring a nice pop of color with the beautiful blue and yellow I think it will look really pretty then I might add we'll see if I have room I might add some primroses here and then I also purchased these uh, pansies here with the blue and yellow I think it will brighten up the container so I think I might add some of those and maybe remove some of the 
pansies will see and add and move them into the where I planted hydrangea on the other side I think I might just add more color on the other side and let them grow there and replace them with this ones so I actually in fact I might just go ahead and do that so I think at least some of them because the colors I'd like to change the colors a bit Okay guys, so everything looks really good. I I had extra pink one, which it, I went ahead and planted here, um, pink primrose. But um, you know, I purchased it in a tray and so that's how it comes. I had extra of this color, but I actually really like the pink in it. I might try to get a couple of, you know, just the pink primroses and maybe pop them in a couple of places here in, the, in this container. That's why I didn't pack it too much so I can have maybe room to pop a couple of more pink. I actually like the pink in, in a container. So anyway, but I really like how it turned out. Um, again, this is short-lived because um, again, prim, uh, astrospermums, they really like cold weather like cold weather they bloom this time when it gets really hot they will just stop blooming i think i will go ahead and plant them in my landscape after i uh, when i am ready to redo this container uh, because they sometimes they are perennial in my area sometimes they are not um, at, uh, at times they come back and then sometimes they die out but i will take chances and go ahead and plant them even if i even if it comes back one or two years i can still enjoy them it's fine um, so they bloom around this time until about may mid-may maybe uh early june and then they just stop blooming because it starts getting hot for them so but in the meantime they have lots of buds and they you know continue to bloom usually so it will look really pretty before i move on to my other project oh i need to water it really quick sorry hang on these containers will fill in and just and uh, bloom profusely so they will be really full and beautiful all right uh, before I go to my next project which project really quick I wanted to bring to your attention to a couple of the plants that I that are doing really good in the garden right now one is one of the hollow boards that I absolutely adore it's a double I wanted to show you it's doing really pretty and then the next one I have a whipping a mimosa is full of blooms it hasn't all opened yet but it looks incredible I've planted this tree about uh, gosh maybe uh, three years or four years ago and it really struggled for a while but this year I think it's peak it's just gorgeous so let's go with me I wanted to show you this beautiful uh, hollowbore that I have it looks absolutely amazing look at this gorgeous it's a double bloomed hollow boards. I'm, I'm so in love with hollow boards. I need to add more. They're just quite expensive. But every year I'm trying to add more in my garden. And then the next one, I wanted to show you this awesome uh, mimosa, whipping mimosa tree. It's doing absolutely gorgeous. Look at this beauty. It has a ton of blooms everywhere. It's, I mean, it's just starting to open a little bit. You can see, but it's full of them. And it's starting to, there is a spider web needs to move somewhere else and um, it's hopefully it will start um, also weeping on this side as well I'm trying to not let too many too many things grow on the back so it brings light and Sun in order for it to whip on the other side as well but it's looking really pretty and this mimosa tree will not get any taller I think it's going to stay about this height which is perfect because it, it is really difficult to come by smaller trees where you can uh, plant them in, in a 
landscape. And other thing that it's really incredible about this tree is that it's evergreen. And literally, it stayed this beautiful the entire winter season. Didn't lose any leaves. Had blooms starting to form. Just really gorgeous. Anyway, just wanted to show you this. Let's go to my next project because I have some other thing that I have to get done. Let me get my tools. Okay, guys, so this is my next thing that I have to get done. When I uh, was preparing this bed here, you can see I, um, I placed stepping stones here. And honestly, any of the hardscaping in my garden is professional nor, um, nor permanent. So I kind of... I kind of do it what I can, but I decided this will bring really uh, nice interest in a garden because really hardscaping is almost necessary, but it is really difficult for me to do clearly because I, you know, I'm not professional and I don't, it's just a little above my abilities, but I try to do things what I can and make them myself in my own ability. So, um, so anyway, this is what I've done and it actually worked out really good. So basically when I started doing that, I went, so this, this area, just, I wanted to, first I wanted to say that this area slopes down. So, um, I decided to just basically walk to see what is the most comfortable steps. And then as I did that, I started measuring. And uh, But now, so I came about this far. You can see I came about this far. And now, no, this one, I'm sorry. This is this one. So I, I came about here with the steps then i so we bought a few more we bought four more here so i want to go ahead and add those and i think i'm thinking probably just add all the way down because that will give me um kind of a nice steps here all the way down for the maintenance i can come here and do maintenance but there in this area here i'm not sure if i'm going to come all the way just because there is in the summertime there is evening primroses that just pop up here they, they self-seed and then they come back and they just kind of fill this area with beautiful magenta color flowers and so I might just stop there and allow this area to fill in in the summertime we'll see we'll see how it works gardening is just you never know there's no plan you kind of go with it there is no really I mean there is some rules but it's so different for every garden um, and then uh, this hole, like you guys, you guys are if you're wondering what this uh, hole is, uh, there was a, a beautiful viburnum that was planted here. It was really too close to this pathway. So what I did, I removed it and um, I gave, the, gave it to mo one of my very close friends. She's going to plant in her garden. It, it, it's just I was, it wasn't in the right place. So I have a um, uh, hybrid tea rose, which I'm going to plant in a spot of this tree, which I will fill in and that's going to be you will see me doing that in my next you know videos to come so anyway here let's get started and also i wanted to show you i have some grass seeds which i'm just going to sprinkle probably all around the uh, my grass area to um to fill in because most of the most everything is just weeds this garden has not had any maintenance or anything uh, before um so i've been just keep seeding the garden with the grass seeds and so as i'm going to dig out to dig in this area this area to um replace to plant uh, to to place my stepping stones I'm also going to throw some seeds in a soil mix in because I need this area um, to fill in with the nice grass as possible and go all the way around but you know this pro this is a process it's all just takes time and you know constant effort to look to make the gardens look nice so that's kind of what my project is today and I'm going to show you just really quick basically I just measure my uh, the steps in between the space in between the steps this one is already placed so i'm going to go about about a foot so about a foot goes about here so this is my mark and i need to be about this way and i might do like that a little more so if I come back, do a little twist like that. So I'm going to mark 
this area with this tool. Um, and I, I don't think that's a gardening tool, but I love using it in my garden. It really comes handy. So then I take my shovel. And I already know the space approximately, which is about here and here. So I'm going to take my shovel and just kind of dig a little bit. Okay, so you can see that, um, like I can see it's go, it's sloping down. The garden kind of goes like that. So I know that I have to add more soil towards this side. And I brought a level so I can take a look at it, make sure it's all level. Okay, so I made sure that it's level on all sides. You know, I check it cross and then I check it in a long, long ways to make sure it's all level and I adjust that it takes a little time. But then I just go ahead and pack the soil all around it and that locks it all in place. And eventually this all will just, you know, sits and they're very strong. I mean, they don't come out or anything. They don't wobble. But, um, you know, over time, sometimes maybe it needs to get some adjustment down for it. But um, normally it's all usually stays in place really well. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and continue doing this uh, and throw some grass seeds around. But this video is getting really long already. And so I'll just go ahead and finish up today. And then I will see you in my next video. Have a wonderful week. Don't forget to subscribe to my videos if you like them. Uh, to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.